Hello. <laughs> okay, you guys, I had a lot of fun. I really did. That was way more fun than I anticipated. It was also, it was also like way shorter than I anticipated. Oh yeah, I'm in the Third Coast Comedy Club bathroom taking a piss. I'm in the handicap stall this time. I'm pretty sure that everybody else has left, except for the bartenders. Um, I'm either the first to leave or the last to leave. I've noticed this. Never in between. But yeah, everybody did a great set. Everybody had fun, I think. I ended up like reconnecting with some chick that I used to go to AA meetings with. <laughs> And uh, I got her number, and I got the number of some other dudes in the comedy scene that I think are really cool and funny and say things that I agree with and have a perspective that I can understand. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I didn't get to do my whole set. Uh, but that's fine. Because uh, the way I look at it, that's just jokes that I can use later, you know? And I never would have come up with them if it weren't for this opportunity. So thank you, Brad Edward. Thank you so much. I love you. That's the sound of my shoe. That's the sound that boots make when they're old. And you guys are my good ones. Oh my god. I left my pot cookie outside, you guys. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I was like, what am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something really, really important. <laughs> yeah, I just gave away that pot cookie to these boys at school, and I told them that. Because they really would have. Like, if you met these dudes, like, they were so cool. So. Um. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What are you looking for? Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of you. Don't forget your body. Back in the picture. Yeah, but I really like this place. It's not But this was an actual comedy show, though. You know, it wasn't just like a regular ass open mic. You know? Whenever you do regular ass open mic, it's mainly just comics. And I know that I've, I've been told that I'm like a comedian's comedian. So, like, only other comedians will understand me, basically. That's what that means. Um, but, um,. Uh, Guess what? I had my lighter this whole time. Oh! Easy. That's always terrifying. That's the handicap bathroom. That's where they got that special device. Yeah, I was like, dude, I didn't have that when I took a shit in the regular stall. Look at this, you guys. Look at how nice this bathroom is. It's incredible. Okay, I gotta go. Actually, no, let's just keep shooting. See, I thought I heard somebody coming and it freaked me out and... Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> that was the blow dryer. The blow dryer? <laughs> I can totally do that. No, it's not working. I don't know. I'm acting too crazy in this bathroom. It happens a lot. You guys remember these? The water fountain. I just want you guys to witness this. Oh. 
sorry. Yeah, I'm just. Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Awkward. I feel so awesome because of these boots, you guys. There's my cookie. Now it just looks like you're like eating shit off the ground. <laughs> But what time do you eat that other cookie? Fuck, I don't know. Like five, six? No. No, it was like six. Maybe seven. Uh uh. No, it was six. Six o'clock, I ate that pot cookie. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, five hours. I'm good. Look at this, y'all. Train tracks. I love trains. Tonight we all bonded over wanting to jump on one and see where life takes us. Yeah, that was fun though, man. I played a game called Jokemon and I had to compete against <laughs> A, co a, a comic in the scene, his name's Cody Marley, and he's the uncle of uh, one of my best friends from high school, which is, it was just really weird that they put up, they put us against each other because, like, I mean, it wasn't, like, competitive the way that I was worried about. It was just, like, generally, like, a really fun show that I thoroughly enjoyed being part of. Um, oh, fuck. I just hit myself in the face with this. The door. Um, <laughs> go me. <laughs> okay. I never expect to have fun when I do comedy, but I was told that I'm very, very passionate. It's true. That was an accurate speculation. Jesus Christ, you're going to be so fucked up. No, I'm not. I'm not going to be more fucked up than usual. <laughs> Yeah, I left my phone at the house. Yeah, because it was it was charging. Yeah, so maybe it's fully charged now. I might have just like taken it off the charger and left it on the table like I usually do. I don't need my phone. Like, the only reason that I have a phone, I'll be totally honest here, is because I'm a drug addict. So. I need to, you know, be able to connect with my, my boy. <laughs> my drug dealer's so funny. He thinks I'm hilarious. I know that I'm hilarious. Oh my 
yeah, so I am in a gravel parking lot right now. My parking lot composed of rocks and more rocks. <laughs> oh, shit. The last time that I was here, I, I saw my friend Gary Fletcher put on a psychedelic show. This seems like a really good place to put on a, a show. I hope that eventually people will take me seriously as a comic. Because I know that I'm funny. But I've uh, been trying to do jokes that aren't so offensive. Uh, it's just really hard for me. Because I always end up going there, you know? Like, I have this joke about spiders. Because I see uh, brown recluses quite a bit. And I... I uh, I feel like that title is a lie, because uh, I'm more reclusive than they are. But, uh, I wonder if that's just a stereotype, all because they're brown. <laughs> See, that's funny. That's funny that I took it there. You know, I just started talking about spiders, and then ended up talking about race once again. That's just what happens. Because it's something that I think about a lot. But, uh, yeah, so. It is good to see people, though, that I don't see very often anymore because I don't live in Nashville. So I don't. Like, coming out here. It's not really, like, driving out here that's the problem. I can say that. I can lie to everybody and be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's 45 minutes, man. But really, I mean, that's 45 minutes of me shooting a video. Saying awesome stuff, I can only assume. Lord. That was fun, though. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad that we did that, because it's a good motivator, you know, to do this again, to not be so fucking scared. Yeah. Patrick Devine told me tonight, hey, you pushed the edges. It's, it's good. <laughs> Funny. So, yeah. I mean, I, I had women in the audience tonight. Like, I I, I made a, a joke about how... Women that wear heels are obvious cunts. Like, <laughs> why do they gotta be towering above the rest of us you know and they, they were all there there were, there were women in the audience that were wearing heels and the, the laps so you know i i don't i feel like there's a way to go about it that uh can work the fuck i just missed my fucking exit you'll be fine just just take this one isn't there another one right here yeah, I hope so. I really fucking hope so. Because I, I really don't want to be stuck driving around Nashville with this fucking light. <laughs> like, I don't have GPS, but I got this. Really? 
attention. I was just in the wrong lane. That's because you weren't paying attention, baby. Oh, but I have jokes that are, are like about my mental illness that I think are fun. <laughs> That's funny. Well, like, those aren't beer cans, by the way. I know that's what they sound like. I believe they're spray cans. <laughs> Yeah, Nashville's very confusing. Cause like I didn't know what lane I was supposed to be in. What time is it? It's probably like eleven twenty, man. Yeah, I thought the show was gonna go on until like one o'clock in the morning. Like it ended or it it started it started late and it ended early. Which is fine. I mean it, it was like it, it was a fun time. It just I, I was expecting it to be a lot longer. So I didn't know how long I was going to be out here in Nashville. It's good you got some numbers tonight, though. Some numbers that you've been wanting to see. No, I think I think that that is the way to get on the interstate. I hope, I really fucking hope that that is a way to get on the interstate. Oh, I don't think so, man. Fuck, what is this shit? I right, just keep going, keep going straight, keep going. There you go, there you go. We did it, we did it. We're on the freeway. Well, not yet. We're about to get on the freeway. <laughs> okay, do, do not do that again. You need to pay attention to where you're going. Actually, you can just stay in this lane. You'll be fine if you just stay in this lane because it'll take you all the way back. Holy shit. Oh. Yeah, just stay in this lane. I know. Don't run on the window. You can't do that when you're shooting a video, especially on the interstate. Dude, it's very dangerous to uh, throw a cigarette out the window on the interstate. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times That cigarette has come back and hit me in the eye, caught my hair on fire, ended up somewhere in the car, so I'm like frantically searching for it on the interstate, you know, and like, well, I've been lucky because I haven't been driving, you know, I was always in the passenger seat. Yeah, yeah. But that happened a lot, man. The cigarette just comes flying back. He's freaking out trying to find it. Hoping that it's not like catching one of those old ass McDonald's receipts on fire, you know? Oh. Oh. I had to do an impression of Steve Urkel tonight. It was really funny because the person that told me that I did a great impression of him sounds just like Steve Urkel all the time. His name is Sean Parrott and he's fucking hilarious. You should check out his stuff if you have a chance. He's like an amazing guitar player as well. He plays with the Grey Grays at the East Room along with Gary Fletcher. They're both really awesome and really, really funny. And I agree with their perspective. Um, I like 
I feel like comedy means a lot more to me if, like, I disagree with it, you know? Because, like, anybody can say something funny, but if you say stuff that, that's true and stuff that matters and it's coming from your heart, then it, I feel like that stands out to me a lot more than, you know, just, <laughs> that's great, you know? about to kick in like full force just to let you know I yeah I, I realize that okay so now we're just gonna be traveling in a straight line well wow. are you sure about that I'm not saying that because I just ate like a, a can of this lady's cookie. I'm saying this because like we naturally swerve all over the place. That's why I get so paranoid whenever I, I carry drugs on me because like I know that I already drive like I'm drunk. I mean if you saw the way that I park you can definitely think that I'm drunk every time because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But I am always very impressed when I can parallel park. Yeah it just takes you like 20 minutes to do it. <laughs> Yeah, but once we're in there, we're in there. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah, but if you parallel park, like, if you're able to do that, you just feel like you're, like, the best driver in the world, even if it still looks like shit. Like, just the fact that you were able to squeeze yourself in that car sandwich. <laughs> Man. I'll <laughs> some water. <laughs> this is just so hilarious. Like, I'm tempted to go to the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, you don't have enough battery life to do that, I don't think. I haven't put up any of these videos. Things, it's always like a test because, like, I upload my videos a lot quicker than I can like describe them, and I just don't like putting stuff out there. That, that I, you know, if I don't know what it is, I feel like it's dangerous to do that. So I'm like, I have no idea how many times I said the N-word in this <laughs> video. But, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like a lot of people know that I, I'm not a malicious person. Uh, it's hard to be a malicious person when you're always cannabinized. Like, it doesn't matter how mean my comedy might be. Like, at the end of the day, I'd still help you out if you needed help. Unless you're a Nazi or something. I wonder about that. Like, I wonder about people that are, like, really, really homophobic and racist and xenophobic and all kinds of phobic. And I wonder if it would, like, really significantly, like, change their life if, like, worst case scenario, like, they ended up in, like, a burning building or something, and then, like, a black person saved their life. Like, would that be, like, the only thing that change their entire perspective on the black race or you know like I think that people are like too quick to just judge somebody I'm not saying that like Nazis shouldn't be judged I'm saying that I try to look at things from all possible angles not just not just the one that's like most convenient for me um but it's like it is fucking easy you know to just make assumptions about people and stuff. I know I'm guilty of it. I do it all the goddamn time. As you know. 
But that doesn't mean that I'm right. I mean, just because I think I'm right doesn't mean that I actually am. I'm lucky to have this level of self-awareness, but at the same time, it's also very crippling and it makes everyday life pretty terrible, you know? <laughs> like, I can't really enjoy things. But I know that I'm like a genius on some, some level. Like, if I were able to, like, do what I can do in a video, or what I'm able to do just sitting in my garage by myself, if I were able to do that on a stage in front of people and have that translate, I know that people would think a lot of it. Um, Jason! definitely need to keep doing comedy, that's for sure. That's what you're suited for. But, you know, just because you're good at it doesn't mean that it's easy. But, like I was saying before, like, you know, why why would you want your life to be easy, you know? Like, you, you like it when things are difficult for you. So, this is the perfect field, y'all. <laughs> I wonder if anybody like whizzing past me, like just happened to glance over here and like see me with this stupid ass light. <laughs> love doing comedy. I, I like, you know, this idea of it. But it's also kind of disgusting. You know, it's like you're just putting yourself on full display. You were getting laughs and you weren't even doing anything. That's what's crazy. Like, you just got up there and were weird. And people thought that was amusing. Yeah, because they just, like, never seen a crazy person in action, I suppose. Like... <laughs> never seen, like, a crazy person leave the house and talk about the crazy shit that they only talk about at the house. <laughs> in the car or in the grocery store when they're shooting a video trying not to pick, make the people around them feel really awkward how much battery life you got not too much Right when you get home, you're going to be high as far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I seriously need to start uploading these videos, though, because I have too many now. So I guess this is how I go about doing things. I upload, like, 20 videos, and then I delete those videos so I can make more, and I try to watch those videos that I upload, but I know that I've, I've kind of been slacking, kind of, yeah, I've been slacking, I've been really slacking, like majorly slacking, I just do so much, man, I write so much, and 
and then like I have to sift through it and find the, you know the funny shit or like this relates to that. It's just agonizing. You have no idea how much material I have, you guys. I mean, I know that I've stressed this. I know that I've shown y'all some extent of it, but Jesus Christ, I've got too much going on in this head of mine. Like, it seems like this is like a luxury problem for a comic, you know? But... I don't know. It's, I mean, well, I guess it is. But, but it's, it is a problem, though. It's a fucking problem. But you, you, you did good tonight. You did good. Even though you didn't get around to all of it, you still did good. But everybody did great tonight. Uh, now I'm just going to be staring off into the distance. But that's good. You're watching the road. That's 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 what you need to do. <laughs> it's not just staring off into the distance if you're driving. <laughs> yeah, the way you're shooting a video, it's kind of boring, you know? Like, people don't really want to watch 45 minutes of somebody just staring off into the distance. You're not doing that. You gotta start talking at some point. You always do. Unless you're, like, super duper depressed. Like, we're always pretty depressed, but, you know, there is a level of depression that we can sink into where, like, you know, we can't even talk. It's going to cut us off soon, just to let you guys know. I'm not going to turn off my laptop. I'm just going to let it turn itself off when the time comes. <laughs> just like speed all the way home <laughs> yeah I'll just go like a hundred maybe a hundred twenty no do not do that Jesus this car like freaks out when you go 60 one thing I don't like about driving on the interstate is it makes you tired you know because you're just driving in a straight line for the most part you gotta switch lanes, and that's always nerve wracking. But, uh, ugh, 
No, yeah, I'm just fine. Andy way to park if you remember that? Yeah, I did that too. <laughs> Y'all remember when we ate it? Right off the ground? <laughs> See, I put it on my laptop because, like, I, I had this other pot cookie plus uh, half of a pot cookie that. Like, I ate the other half earlier. Y'all just don't remember because I didn't document that experience. You don't need to see every time that I do it. Just know that it happens. Uh, but, yeah, uh, um, so, yeah, I, I gave this pot cookie to these two boys that liked my stuff. And one of them, like, I've, I've seen him do stand-up at this dive bar called the Louvre, where you just basically go there and bomb. Like, <laughs> that's what it's there for. But, uh, yeah, I'd seen him, like, a long-ass time ago. Like, it's been, like, a year since I'd seen this guy. His name's Josh, and I don't know his last name. But, yeah, it's like I, I met these guys. Their names were Josh and Steve. The gay couple, that's what I was. The pretend gay couple, I mean. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I gave them this pot cookie because they were cool. And and I, and I, I took the other, uh, this other cookie out, like uh, the other half of my pot cookie, and I set it on my laptop. And then, like, I took my laptop and I went inside and. I was like, fuck, like, I know I just dropped something, but then I just kept walking. I don't know why the fuck I just keep walking, because that would bother me for, like, the rest of the day, you know? Like, last night, I opened my car door, and a pen fell out, and, like, I didn't grab it, because I have a lot of pens, and I wasn't that concerned about it. But I can't stop thinking about it. Oh my god, man, I wonder if that pen's still in the parking lot. I wonder if he's running over. Speaking of shit, getting run out of, running in the over. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? I have to find this, y'all. I have to find this and show it to you because it's hilarious. Um. Oh my god, there's another light. There, there was a lighter in my car this whole fucking time. Is that it? Yeah, this is it. Look at that. They can't fucking see it. Um. See that? That's what chapstick looks like when it gets run over by a car several times. <laughs> like, I was looking for this chapstick. I was like, where the fuck did I put that chapstick? And then I found it a couple days later in the Wendy's parking lot looking like this. <laughs> this makes me sad, man. I just hate it when I lose shit because I think, like, that shit feels forgotten about, you know? I just think about, like, all the abandoned children and like animals that aren't getting taken care of and babies that are born on wedlock. <laughs> but I, I think about them. I think I think about that shit a lot. So like this is how you relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I lose a tube of chapstick. <laughs> I just wonder about all the other tubes of chapstick that have been abandoned and left behind. <laughs> now, I lose chapstick all the time. Chapstick, pens, cell phones. Oh, man. There's a significant reason why we don't upgrade. Like, I, I fuck up my phone 
and I just have a regular ass flip phone, y'all. Like, and I fucked that bitch up. Like, I'll, I'll leave it on my car or, and like drive away. Sometimes I'll drop it in a toilet. Other times I'll throw it against the wall five times. Can't do that shit with a smartphone, you know? Flip flow, flip flow. A flip flow can take a lot more abuse. cut us off not yet though or else that message would have come up you might want to plug in your PC <laughs> you might god I haven't eaten anything all day y'all just I can't eat when I know I'm going to perform If I do, it's like a fucking mistake because I just feel like throwing it up on stage. <laughs> this is bulimia. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I have something like that. Uh, I mean, I know I have an eating disorder, but... It has way more to do with my moods than it does, uh, you know, my, my body or anything, you know, like, I like thicker girls, I really do, I, th I think bigger women are more attractive, I don't like being so goddamn tiny, it is fun though, because you're feisty, and, like, people don't expect you to be so full of rage, <laughs> Yeah. Why are you turning the heat on? I just feel like turning the heat on, okay? Calm down. That's what I feel like doing right now. I'll probably change my mind in about 30 seconds when it's, like, suffocating me. Oh my god, I just remembered that I picked up today. Oh! I have a whole ounce of weed, y'all. About to make some cookies. Yeah, there you go. That's a good reason to go to the grocery store. Then you can get a bunch of, like, cookie shit. <laughs> cookie shit, cookie shit, cookie shit. always so exciting making pot cookies like it's a reason to not kill myself you know just because I have like that to look forward to it's the right way to go y'all psych meds like if you want to take psych meds I'm not I'm not judging anybody I'm really not I judge psychiatry, I judge America's readiness to just put a band-aid on everything and like not really face the problem. Uh, I'm not doing that with weed. Like if anything, weed helps me to come out more in my mental illness, like it makes it acceptable. Comedy has also done that. Like, that's why I, I I quit smoking weed around the same time that I started doing comedy. Because, like, I realized that, like, I didn't have to have weed for everything. Like, I, I just wanted to see what it was like just to live my life and not be, you know, stoned all the time. But I'd rather be stoned all the time. I, 
So much better, y'all. So much better. But it just helps all that funny come out. Like, I don't need weed to be funny. It just makes me more comfortable with the piece of shit that I am. So, you're not a piece of shit. If anything, you're like a pebble, you know? You're just like teeny tiny shit. And dude, I chose to take a shit tonight. You guys ever choose to take a shit? Like, because there's a difference between like the poop that you have to take and the poop that you want to take, you know? Like, hmm, I can hold off or I could just stay in here for like another 10 minutes, hang out, take a shit. That's what the bathroom's for, right? But, uh, God, I love pooping. It's like one of the greatest things ever. You don't hear it talked about enough, like how much of a relief that is. <laughs> Farting has a similar relief. Yeah, yeah. It's like how my aunt holds just expressing itself. <laughs> I express myself with sounds and smells. It just makes people feel uncomfortable because it's just like, it's like awkward, you know? It's like, here's this weird ass noise coming, coming from out my asshole. And now the room stinks. And then everybody makes fun of you for that shit. It's dumb. Like, why are you holding in your farts? I, I stopped holding in my farts a long last time ago. You know? I just got sick of it. But that's what women are trained to do. And that's probably why I'm a gender bender. Because I don't think it's fair. Now, don't get me wrong. There's definitely men that hold in their farts. But they act like women. You know? I don't think it's like, oh, they're gay. I feel like there are a lot of a lot of men that are just weird, just real weird. I dated one of them, okay? He was so weird about flatulence, poop, anything out the asshole he was weird about. And I just, I don't get that because it's so natural. It's something that like everybody does. Like if you don't do it, you're, you got a world of problems right there, you know? I have a friend that has a colostomy bag. I'm really jealous of the power that he possesses. I mean, I don't really think that you can just like knock people upside the head with your bag of shit, but it is a good way to threaten people. <laughs> Being mentally ill, people don't really take it seriously unless like fecal matter gets involved. I don't know why this is, but it's true. Like, if you, like, take a shit in public, or maybe, like, you rub shit all over your face, or if you do anything with shit, anything with shit that's out of the ordinary, just, like, me talking about it and me, like, documenting my bathroom session, like, I know that people will, like, acknowledge that I'm crazy because of that. Uh, it's just amusing to me. Y'all are stereotyping. <laughs> I don't like it. God, I really enjoyed taking that walk early this morning. I took a walk at 7 o'clock in the morning just so I could buy cigarettes. Yeah, that's good for you, though since you're already doing something bad. Somebody's going well work for it, right? Work for that shitty habit. Oh, man. I love smoking, though, man. I really do. 
it just makes so much sense. <laughs> and not just because I have an oral fixation and I'm addicted to self-talk and I went to way too many 12-step meetings and just immersed myself in a cloud of cigarette smoke at all times. But like, it's uh I don't know. It's a friend. I just don't have that many friends. <laughs> Can you just see that on a commercial? Like advertising like Miller Lite or some shit. <laughs> I just don't have any friends. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do, y'all. I'm going to charge up this laptop. And we're going to go to Kroger. Later on tonight. Once the pot cookie really kicks in. Which will be in about an hour. An hour and 15 minutes. Something like that. And who knows? Maybe we'll eat yet another pot cookie. Might as well just keep going, right? No. That is not what you should do, Amy. <laughs> you know your tolerance will just go up. Yeah, yeah, it does that. Oh, shit. Almost hit a mailbox. <laughs> and I like walking around like my shitty suburb. I mean, there's no crime here. That's why, like, all the cops, they always hang out at the fucking gas station where I walked to early this morning. I just see, like, five cop cars there, like, every time I go in. There's this, like, big black dude that works at the gas station. He's, like, really hot. And, like, I want to ask him out. Because, like, we totally get along, you know? And, like, we talked about cigarettes, and we talked about, like, alcoholism, too. Like, he used to be a drunk just like me. Oh, my battery's running low. That was very convenient. Very convenient, indeed. Because we are home. Okay. Park the car. Turn that off. That's cool though, you can shoot videos at night time. <laughs> so, I have to talk about this. Um, there's this guy in the comedy scene. He's really, really funny. His name's Patrick Devine, and I think he thought that I was, like, trying to ask him out or some shit. Because I asked him to come to my house. But, dude, the way that you put it, you're like, come to my house, you know? I just, I hadn't, like, been able to talk to him. Like, there's so many people that I want to talk to that I haven't been able to talk to because they leave. There you go. 
Now you're all charged up. Calm down, laptop. But, yeah, I just, I just, like, invited him to my house to do this, like, comedy therapy thing. This idea that I have where it's just a lot more personal. Um, and I think he just, like, assumed that I was, like, trying to get him to fuck me or something. I mean, not that, like, I'm above that. I mean, there are plenty of comics in the scene I would totally fuck, but that's not a good idea. Like, it's not a good idea to bang somebody you do comedy with for obvious reasons. Uh, but, I mean, if it works out, it works out. But, like, I just... I don't want to come across that way, like, that I'm just, like, come out to my house, we'll do some comedy therapy, like, that, that wasn't what I meant. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so, I do have this idea, though, where it's just, like, me on my staircase with another comic and we're just talking you know we're talking like more personal stuff uh and uh if i put that shit on the internet like that's a really good way for me to not only open myself up but to help other people that i really like and respect and admire you know for what they do so um if you're interested, you don't even have to be funny. I mean, I hope that you're funny. I'd rather you be funny. But if you just want to come to my house and, I mean, I'll make you laugh. I know that I'll make you laugh. I'm really good at that. Uh, but, yeah, if you just want to talk about your daddy issues or, like, you've got, you know, abandonment stuff that just keeps coming up and fucking up your relationships uh, or... um you know, maybe you just hate yourself and, like, you need, you need somebody to, like, like, bounce that off of, you know, somebody that definitely knows what it's like to hate herself. Like, this is a gift. It's such a gift. Like, there's so much that I can do with this spillness that I have. <gasps> oh, my God. It's the shoebox full of marijuana. You guys, this stuff smells even better than the last stuff. Like, oh my god. Turn on another light, baby. Okay. I'm see, I know that I'm like a fun person. Uh, so I just, I really want more fun people to hang out with me. <laughs> but oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. You see my get up? Look at this. Look at these fucking witch boots. Are they the shit? This is what I was talking about with the, the little frilly things, the little frilly, faggoty, loafer type, whatever the fuck they are. I know that these shoes were once part of a cow. Okay, vegans, I know that. You don't need to remind me. I'm a horrible person. I'm a hypocrite because, like, I love animals, and yet, like, I eat animals, and I wear animal products. I think that you're looking to change that, though. What is... That's weed. <laughs> 
I thought that was part of a cookie, but it's actually a piece of weed. See, look at this. That is fucking beautiful. Like this kind of weed I'm talking about. Sticky, stinky ass weed. You know? Because, like, this, this doesn't look like an ounce. He usually puts an ounce in a bigger bag. But, like, I know that this is right. First of all, he's got me because he's my nigga. And he said that I could say that, okay? I don't give a damn. <laughs> I mean, he really is, though. Like, he has fucking got my back. And I've been told that, like, that's what that means. Because I've been called a nigga by many black people. And so that means that they trust me. Like, I'm white and they still trust me. So that's pretty awesome. Pretty proud of that. But, like, white people are freaked out by me. It's so funny. Uh... Well, black people have been stigmatized, and you're stigmatized. Yeah, man. It's pretty terrible. I mean, I don't feel sorry for myself, though. I used to, but I don't anymore. Especially since I, like, discovered comedy. It's like, it doesn't matter how many people hate you. It doesn't matter, like... Like if everybody thinks that you're, you know, a total weirdo, like, it works. You're being yourself. So, you know, that's right. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so fucking happy whenever I smell that goodness. Smoking that gas. Shout out to Keisha. I miss you. Speaking of people that called me the N word. She's probably like the most black person. Like, I guess like stereotypically, you know what I mean? Like, because I feel like they're different scales of, like, race, just, like, there are different scales of, like, gender and sexual preference and all of that, you know, like, involving stereotypes, um, it's just very, like, controversial to talk about these things, because it makes so many people uncomfortable, because they're like, oh, should I freak out now? Sh should I, should I get angry? Like, no, you shouldn't, like, it just means that I, I pay attention to things, <laughs> you know? Pay attention to things that I happen to be around a lot, you know? That's all it is. That's all it means. It's like nothing mean. Like, anytime that I make any kind of, like, racial joke, it's usually, like, uh, representing black people in a good light. Or representing gay people in a good... Well, gay should be a race. It really should. I wish that gay was a race. Um, but, you know, like, I just... I, I like minorities. I like people that have been stigmatized. I like people that have been fucked with, you know? Because, like, I've been fucked with. Like, my whole life, I've just had to eat shit. But it's fine. Amy Gross, like, that's so gross, right? Where's your set list bed? I think it's still in my pocket, in my Michael Jackson jacket. I did get to do my, like, uh, my neo-Nazi party joke. I felt like that was relevant to what was going on. <sighs> yeah, that was really relevant to what's going on. Like, okay, you should just do the set list, okay? I'll be back. Actually... Why do you have to smoke? 
I want to smoke. I love to smoke. Okay, well, you're going to have to move this. God, I wish I could just smoke inside. I used to live in this apartment where, like, my friend Colton and I just, like, chain smoked all the time. Like, the walls were, like, brown. <laughs> and, like, I was told by my landlord to, like, cut that shit out, but, like, I couldn't, you know, because I was just, like, so used to it. I kept saying that I was gonna, but I never did. Um, and then we got kicked out. Look at this shit. Yeah, I think that was probably run over at least ten times. <laughs> yeah, all the chopstick is gone. But see, I won't throw this away. I will keep this forever as, like, a trophy or some shit. Because, <laughs> like, that's the kind of shit I hoard, you know? <laughs> Just, like, this, this matters. This matters so much. Oh, weed, 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 I had a joke, um, don't you love jokes that start that way? I have a joke. Emotional roller coasters, better with weed. Oh shit, we're going back up! Weed! Okay. To the garage.